going on to you, Geminis. You have the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Hermit. No, the Magician, excuse me, the Magician. Okay. So these three cards right here are about you, Gemini, starting to wisen up. And the king of, you know, the, the, the king of cups, the king of pentacles, if somebody was trying to run that type of game on you, it's not really going to work because a dysfunctional person can only uh, hide that they're dysfunctional for only a, a certain amount of time. All it really takes is time. On a long enough timeline, you should start to see them start to crack up underneath the pressure because them having to be decent is not necessarily something that they are, right? So being decent would have to be about work and actually do the thing that they don't want to actually do. So it's paradoxical. They would do the work, but they don't necessarily see the value in why they're doing it, the point of it. So a lot of you Geminis, you know, you being around the block a couple of times, that could that type of stuff can only really get you caught off guard in, in two situations. Either you're inexperienced and you don't necessarily know what's happening because you haven't existed long enough, you know what I mean? You haven't been around the block long enough in order for you to know, or you have to deliberately ignore it. And this is the reason, long story short, this is the reason why in a lot of my videos, not all, not even most, but in a lot of my videos, I'll say that, that you know, when people get caught up with the, you know, so much, when they get consistently caught up with dysfunctional individuals, one or two situations, right? And, and you know, and they come to me and they ask me, well, what am I doing wrong? I'm like, listen, you're either inexperienced or, or you are you are ignoring something, or you know, even if you aren't ignoring something, you're inexperienced where you haven't gotten your heart broken enough. And then they go, "No, I have no, no. Factually, you haven't because you're not. You haven't got it in your head that you should be paying attention to something that you've already seen with a with a totally with a, a physically a totally different person." Like, don't you find it odd that you're seeing the same things with with the vast majority of the people that you're trying to get to know and you don't find anything odd about that? So the thing about it is that the magician now is about how um, and you Geminis have become greater because of it, because the magician, right? Virgo, uh, Gemini, Scorpio in certain cases. But you are way better because now you've been able to be around the block enough times to actually see when someone is actually running game on you. So it's going to be very much so difficult. And especially since the Queen of Wands, you're going to be scaring off a lot of people that would that would run game on you. Because the thing that runs off for the most part, people that not all the time, but most of the times when you tell people that would be running game on you that you like them they run off. They show you like hyenas, they show you their back feet. They show you how dysfunctional they are. They show you it because for some reason that's like kryptonite, you know? Oh, you know, you know, they, they, this is the stupidity of it and the confusion. They want to trick you into you thinking that you're in a relationship with them. But then at the same time, it's like when you actually push the pace and you say, Hey, I like you. I would like to be in a relationship. Now it's like, oh, okay, I can't, I can't do that. Okay, exactly. Okay, because the line is drawn. Stupid, right? The line is drawn. Of course, you don't want to be in a relationship now, goofy. Of course, you don't. You know, and it, like I said, it becomes kryptonite. Now it puts people on a spot where it's like, if this is not what it is that you wanted, if this is not what you wanted. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like, now it's time to speak up. So then the Page of Cups now is about how, um, so you can't believe how long you haven't been paying attention to this and that your eyes are open because there's so much illusions that's out here 
that you weren't even necessarily aware of a year and a half ago, two years. And and now you, you know, you Geminis are thankful at the fact that you don't have to put up with 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 all of this confusion and you don't understand when it, where anything is. And that's what it is that I'm saying. People who run game, they, they thrive in confusion. And as a matter of fact, they try to make things as confusing as possible so that they can get what they want without you even fully understanding or having a very good understanding of what's going on. The Page of Pentacles and the Death card represents, well, all of that is over because now you do have a sense of direction of, of what to look out for right what to look out for to leave a person what to look out for to continue to know them right to get to know them longer to see where it goes right what what are signs that this person is serious what are signs that this person should be left alone and you're happy that you know now you know to actually use these strategies you, you know the thing is that the hierophant now is about also and to actually listen to your own self when it is that, that you know, your gut is telling you that you should leave this person alone. Not ignoring that feeling. The Three of Wands now and the Ten of Cups is about you, a Gemini, is also not being opposed to, to um, asking these individuals more invasive questions. Meaning like, what, what are they looking to do in, in their future? What do they have planned? And that's honestly, Gemini, the greatest thing. That's one of the greatest things that you could do is to ask questions. See, a lot of what I'm realizing too within my own progress of studying myself and others is that a lot of, a lot of grownups don't like to ask questions. I've noticed that. A lot of, a lot of grownups, for some reason, don't like to ask questions. They, they get to a certain age and then they think they know everything. <laughs> and you could tell that they do because they become so falsely prideful when it comes to asking questions. And I'm not saying asking questions because then you'll get the idiots, the, the, the dummies that'll ask questions and then like you'll answer the questions and you, you'll, you'll tell them it and then they won't do any of it. And it's like they think that they're being facetious they think that, oh, I, I know the answer to this already. So why did you ask? I'm asking to see how much you know. Why are you in a competition? You understand? So when you ask them questions, now, again, it, it paints them into a corner where they have to, you, you start to see them from a totally different perspective. And the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups represents, that's how it is that you speed up the process of knowing whether or not a person is a, a, a potential good match or when a person is just a rotten apple and that you need to leave them alone. So let's clarify the, uh, the Ten of Cups. Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, ooh, Knight of Cups. Don't let anybody try to put themselves up on a pedestal. If somebody makes it exceedingly difficult for them to actually, uh, you know, for you to have a conversation with them. Anybody that can't have a conversation with you is an automatic dub. If a person doesn't have any good people skills enough to have a conversation, it's a problem. Anybody who, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, letting you i'm arming you gemini's with knowledge right anybody who can't have a con this is why it is i be saying a lot of people are weirdos people who find it hard to have a conversation dub people who can't find themselves in a in a constructive converse uh, a fruitful conversation dub you know why because it's automatically telling you right then and there they're a weirdo they're dysfunctional they don't want to get into a conversation with you because you'll see how dysfunctional they are. And number two, they don't have a personality that's good, that's great enough to have a conversation. You'd be seeing a bunch of weirdos online, don't know how to communicate. You talk to them 
and they just type to you or say or you know type to you in one word answers hey you good how you been okay that yeah you a weirdo period and and i've never been wrong about that yeah you a weirdo because a person who who has worked out their emotional baggage can, will actually communicate better than that. That's that. A person who does that type of stuff is signs, my dear Gemini, that the person is emotionally stuck, and they're not. They're stuck in the mud, and they're not going anywhere. So so they don't know how to communicate because they're stuck in the mud. So you so you're not getting anything out of this you're not getting anything constructive so that's a huge um sign to see that's a huge stop sign for you to see if a person is going to be good for you or not the fact that they have they can't have conversation they can never have a conversation you hit them up two three four five times and every single time they're freezing you out they can't seem to have conversation it's, it's time to bounce and then you'll have the people You'll have people sitting up on the internet talking about this person doesn't like you. Cat, uh, once again, if a person's time is so valuable and they act like it and pompous and all of this, why, I, I'm asking again, why, why spend so much time with a person that you deemed is beneath you? It doesn't make any sense. Your time is so valuable, but then at the same time, you're talking to a person that's beneath you, right? But then your time is valuable. So it means that you just wasted how much time talking to the person that is a waste of time to talk to from what you deemed. So this is the level of confusion and the warped mentality of them. So don't allow the confusion and them doing that to to the to the two of pentacles, which is to frustrate you. The two of pentacles, right? What I'm realizing as well in my own studies of this is that the two of pentacles also represents frustration. Don't allow them to frustrate you with their one word answers and their lack of attention to detail and their lack of, you know, their lack of effort. They're just dysfunctional.